Hello to our Tetri friends in Somalia and hello to everyone. This is our next tutorial in our series on web scrapping using Python. I am Scrappy and this is worth web scrapping. There we go. Hello and welcome back to World Web Scrapping. This is our next tutorial on web scrapping using Python and today we are going to talk about how to scrap data from ESPN Quick Info. So any of you is a big fan of Cricket and uh, you must know that Quick Info is a website and that provides you all the live scores of all the cricket matches and uh, it has all the data like uh, all of the previous matches that uh, were played. It uh, record all of uh, those matches and all records about teams, about players and everything you can find. If you're possibly looking for any reports on any team or any match, you will find it on Quick Info. It has uh, matches even from the 1950s or something. So you can find all of uh, that kind of data from here. And so today I'm going to show you a new library, kind of library, new package that has been designed by some. If uh, you want to see D. Willis, and this is a library that is uh, Python ESPN Quick Info. So this is a Python Crapper actually and Python for ESPN Quick Info JSON API. So earlier this was JSON API ESPN Quick Info. So D. Willis has created this Python uh, Scrapper for that. And this is an amazing library actually. And we use this library. We don't have to use any of our current libraries like a request or beautiful soup or anything at all. And this library has uh, inbuilt all of uh, the functions that interact with the ESPN Quick Info website very seamlessly. So it's uh, very easy to scrap data from ESPN Quick Info website using this library. And you don't have to even look at uh, the website itself. You just get the match ID or get the player ID and you can start scrapping the, all the information that you need. So to install this library do a pipe install python espn quick info then after that this library has four very important classes that one is a summary class then his match class and serious class then there is another player class so out of uh, that match class and player the two most important classes. So what match class uh, does is it gives you all the information related to a match we just need to supply the ID of that match and the ID you can find on the Quick Info website here. So uh, this number here is uh, the ID of uh, this match. So this is a match between uh, India and England in 2008. It is a test match and uh, England won by 31 runs. So mm, this is uh, the match ID and mm, this is the series ID. So if you want to grab the series ID, grab this number. If you want to grab the match ID, grab this number. Then for the player, like every player has a distinct ID again. And uh, for the player ID, you have to grab this number again. So this is the player Joe Root and he's uh, England test captain and wonderful player. So mm, this is uh, his ID and it has all the data related to Joe Root actually. And you can scrap all data just bypassing this ID. So guys, uh, let's see how it works. So first we import all of uh, these classes and so from ESPN Quick Info dot match import the match class and then what you have to do after you have imported that uh, match class, you have to instantiate an object of uh, that class. So you have to create an object of a match class and you have to pass the ID of that particular match to that object. So if you see how wonderful this is uh, that you don't have to pass any URL of uh, Craig Info here. You just have to pass just uh, the ID of uh, that match. If you are using the match class or if you are using a player class, just pass the player ID. No URL, nothing, no get request, no post request, nothing is uh, required, just pass that ID. And after that, you have created this object. This object has uh, several methods available. And I will show you, I have uh, mentioned these uh, two websites above. So this website is uh, the 
uh, dwillis uh, git hub repo so where you can see here created this uh, library there and this is another document which explains what all the methods are available in this library so if you go to the second library here and uh, you can see that match.py so this match.py class has all of uh, these methods available you see here all these uh, things are the methods available that if you create a match object you can call all of uh, these methods on that object so we can call match plus using this you will find like uh, if it uh, was uh, ODI your T20 or test match season you like it uh, will tell you about the which uh, it was a play it in description will tell about description of uh, match and series again series officials will give you all the details of the official like the umpires and uh, the all the matches or theories and all current summaries if uh, it is a live match then this current summary will give you the live score of the match but since right now it's a coronavirus time so no matches are being played and i'm taking actually a match id of an old match so i couldn't take a live match right now because there are no matches played anywhere in the world right now then again there are a number of methods available actually these are all the methods that are available there so you can find the match winner task winner task decision you can find a team so is uh, divided in team one and team two then you can find team one run rate the team two run rate how many overs uh, team two batted how many over team uh, one batted what uh, was the result and how many runs they scored and all you can find all of uh, there and although you see uh, these are again the dot latest uh, betting dot latest uh, bowling uh, this work on this live match if uh, it is a live match you can find who is uh, betting right now who is uh, bowling right now and uh, what's happening in the latest inning all of um, these things you can find out so it's a great library so I will show you some of uh, these functions methods I call some of uh, these methods and uh, show you what they will create so I'm creating an object of a match class here and then I'm calling the that description method so this that description method uh, what it uh, will do is uh, it will show me the description of the match so it is going to show me India's uh, tour of England so it was India's uh, tour of Ireland and England first test England versus India at Birmingham and August for 1 2 4 28 and using this uh, dot match URL you can find the ESPN uh, quick info URL of uh, that match and uh, you can go to that page status you can find out um, the status if uh, it was a completed match or it was uh, abandoned because of something and then again season and class it was a test match it was played in 2018 description I already showed you and uh, M series this is going to show you all the information related to series so it is going to give you a list of dictionaries and it is going to show you all the information related to the series and about all the matches were played there and it will tell you about what was that like class name and so what kind of match it was which date it was ended and all that stuff season you can see here and uh, India as team names you can see here see this lead you can see here so there are a lot of things you can see actually here and the name of uh, the trophy and all that stuff so that's uh, what M dot series is going to give you it is going to give you some details about the complete series about all of uh, the matches that uh, were played then m.official is going to give you the dot official method is going to give you the name of uh, the empires and all and uh, that was officiated in that particular match so you can see here the name of uh, the emperor is uh, Alim Dar so he's a Pakistani umpire and so it uh, also contains the details about his age when he used to play when he used to go so uh, you can see that also so that's uh, where you can find all of uh, this information then there are another view uh, more methods I'm going to show you so a uh, dot current summary if uh, it was a current match it will show me current summary but it is not a current match so I will not see anything here then it will show me present daytime um, I can see in present daytime 
and uh, GMT and uh, local and all that and cancel match if it was a cancel match it will show me true if it is uh, was not cancel match then it will show me false then a uh, rain rule it uh, will show me a rain rule if uh, it was a rain affected match and it was uh, just decided using DLS and it is going to show me that it going to show me DLS was used otherwise it going to show me an A or something date of uh, the match continent of the match then their near town name and town area and match title match result it is going to show me and uh, ground ID so let's see all of uh, that so not because it is uh, not a present match all of uh, these dates then false means it was uh, not a cancel match rain rule showing uh, none because it was not in the rain effective match again so it uh, was played in Europe and Birmingham and first test England won by 31 runs it was uh, the match result and ground ID is 164 so guys uh, this uh, dot team uh, one ironing so what is uh, going to give me it is uh, doing to go to give me all the details about the team one innings is so how many bowls they played how many buys we were there how many extras were scored and how many runs were scored and all of uh, the things uh, you can see here so this 287 total runs scored 89.4 overs played and uh, 3.20 were the total run rate and then uh, wickets so that means the uh, whoever packet first they go to all out and so you can all of uh, this information find it here and uh, if uh, we see at the uh, quick info side uh, you will see that England battled first and uh, this for 287 in the first innings and uh, they go all out here so we grab all of uh, these details there so uh, same way you can do for the match team two innings so just uh, like instead of team one you put uh, your team two innings and you can see the details about the team two innings so you see here there was India batted second and this is India's first innings and this for 274 runs so they couldn't match England's total and uh, they gave England 13 tons lead and 3.6 was the run rate and they played 76 overs so you can see all of uh, these details here then match winner you can find out who won the match England won the match and so then there is another class that uh, is a player class so using the player class what you can do is uh, you can find the information about any player so in this case I'm going to find information about Joe Root this is the Joe Root player ID so I have copied that and I'm going to create an object of uh, this player class then I'm going to pass that player ID no URL again nothing just pass their player ID and you will get all the information so I'm going to creating and uh, this player object here and I'm passing instantiating it uh, using P and I'm going to print the name of the player and the P dot major team so this dot major teams again if uh, you see all of uh, these available methods in the player class of uh, these were all the methods of uh, the match class then this player a lot of uh, more methods that are related to players and if you see using all these methods you can find a lot of details about the player like uh, the player named their information and the full name uh, date of birth uh, current age major teams and if you go here betting fieldings averages if you call this uh, you will get all his uh, betting records so if it's a bowler you will get all the bowling records and all of uh, the stuff you can get out of here so guys uh, I will show you some of uh, these methods so using P dot name I'm going to get the name of the player and uh, dot major teams uh, give me the all the teams that uh, Joe Root has played for actually so the name of the player Joe Root and he has played for England England Lions and uh, Sydney Thunder so he played in Big Bash for Sydney Thunders and then he played 
for Yorkshire County team. Using that URL method, you can get the URL of the player. And then using uh, betting filing averages, uh, this is one of the most important methods in this player class, and get all of uh, the details of that player. So it will give you a dictionary, and uh, this dictionary, what you will get is uh, showing me all of uh, the details, like about test matches, about ODI matches, then it is uh, showing T20, and the first class matches, what is uh, going me, uh, the complete details that we have uh, available in this table here. So you see uh, these tables, I'm getting this uh, complete table there and getting all of uh, this information there. So I'm getting the number of test matches. He played number of innings, number of the run he scored, high scored and everything there. So test matches, he played 92 matches. Uh, 169 innings and uh, 7,599 runs. 254 is the highest score and he has scored 17 centuries and 48 fifties. So that uh, was for the test. Then there is uh, ODIs, there is uh, 20s, um, there is uh, first class, there is uh, list A matches. So you can get all these details there. P.get.html does uh, give you HTML page of uh, that player actually. So if you want to use beautiful soup and something our list, then uh, you can uh, do just uh, p.html and you can use your beautiful soup library if you want to try it out. Then Sirius and there is again third class call Sirius. So using Sirius class what you can do is uh, you can find some information about Sirius but it doesn't have a lot of methods available so just a view method. I'm showing you here. So again, you can pass the series ID here and uh, get the series name and uh, which year the series was played in. And uh, we can get all of um, this information. So it is a wonderful library. I have uh, not seen any library that is so much easy to use and so dedicated to web scrapping from a particular website. It is very rare to find uh, this kind of uh, things and it is, uh, it is a great library. If you are a huge cricket fan and if you want to find some data out of the Crick Info, use this library and you can find all of the data from there very easily. So do go through the documents if you need any help. Go to his uh, D. Willis uh, GitHub repo and you can try to go to these documents here and try it out. So that is all for today my Techie friends. If you like the video please like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video tutorial and do not stop visiting our website. Leave your comments below and ask me any question you have. I will be happy to answer them. Link is given in the description of this video to get code and full material. Stay happy, stay safe, stay Techie.